Hello everyone. One of the most important components of a CPU is the cache memory. But what is it actually responsible for and how does cache memory work exactly? This is what we are going to be talking about in this video. Ready? Let's get started. Computer memory comes in different types. Cache memory is a form of static RAM or SRAM, while regular system RAM is known as dynamic RAM or DRAM. Static RAM can hold data without needing to be constantly refreshed, which makes SRAM ideal for cache memory. While DRAM uses capacitors to store data, and these capacitors need to be constantly refreshed with electricity in order to save data. Now, CPU cache is the internal memory of CPU. It's a smaller and faster memory that stores copies of data from RAM that is waiting to be used by the CPU. Basically, CPU cache contains a small area of memory with the instructions that the computer will most likely need next if it is to perform certain tasks. The main purpose of a cache memory is to ensure that CPU has immediate and instant access to the data it needs in the right order. So we can say that CPU cache is a temporary data store located directly on the processor. Ok now how does cache memory work? Cache memory works as a middleman between CPU and RAM by efficiently storing common data and instructions. This storage allows for quick retrieval when needed. The underlying principle behind cache memory is locality of reference, which suggests that if data is accessed once, it is likely to be accessed again and again in the near future. By storing such data in the cache, system significantly reduces the CPU's access time to the RAM, leading to high speed data access for the processor. As a result, it greatly enhances the overall speed and performance of the computer system. When CPU needs to access data, it initially checks the cache memory. If the requested data is present in the cache, it is referred to as a cache hit. Consequently, CPU can swiftly access data from the cache by passing the slower main memory RAM. On the other hand, if the required data is not found in the cache, it results in a cache miss. In such cases, CPU must take the longer and slower route to access the main memory RAM to obtain data. Subsequently, retrieved data is stored in the cache to facilitate potential future access. For example, services like Netflix and YouTube use cache memory to provide a smoother streaming experience. When you watch a video, the next few minutes of the video are stored in cache. If your internet connection slows down or drops out momentarily, the video can continue playing from the cache without interruption. CPU cache memory is typically divided into three levels. For example, level 1 cache, also known as primary cache. This is the smallest and fastest type of cache memory. It is embedded directly into the CPU, allowing it to operate at the same speed as the CPU. Level 2 cache, which is also called external cache. Level 2 cache is larger in size and slightly slower in speed compared to level 1 cache. In older computers, level 2 cache was located outside the CPU on a separate chip. But in modern computers, it is located inside the CPU. The whole idea behind level 2 cache is that if CPU cannot find the data it needs in level 1 cache, then it searches the level 2 cache for the data. Level 3 cache, also known as the last level cache. It is larger than both level 1 and level 2 caches but is slower. It is located on the CPU and is shared by all cores. Level 3 cache plays an important role in data sharing and intercore communications. Whereas level 1 and level 2 caches are dedicated to their own CPU cores. Finally, if level 3 cache doesn't have the data, then the CPU goes back to the slower RAM to find the data it needs. Each level of cache memory plays a crucial role in improving the performance of a computer. By storing frequently accessed data and instructions, these caches help to speed up data access times and reduce the workload on CPU. If the cache memory gets too full, it can slow you down. It's important to run maintenance tasks on your PC because some of these functions 
will free its memory of temporary files it likely doesn't need any more coming to an end ram is the main memory of your computer but it is farther away from the cpu than the cache memory and is not as fast cache is typically 100 times faster than the ram if cache is so fast why is not all data stored there because cache storage is limited and very expensive for its space so it only makes sense to keep the most access data there and leave everything else to the ram one last thing you cannot delete the cpu cache memory the reason it's a volatile memory this means that it doesn't keep its contents in the long term as soon as you switch off the computer the content in your processor's cache memory is lost all right so this was all about cpu cache memory if this video has been helpful to you please like it share it and subscribe